So today we're going to cover how to use MFA, Montreal Forced Alignment Model. If you're working with speech analysis, phonetics research, or need to align audio with text transcripts, MFA is an incredibly powerful tool that can automatically time align your speech data. The MFA model has been shown to be highly accurate with timestamps down to a phoneme level. It's going to be really helpful if you're doing speech analysis or if you have a lot of specialized terms where the most of his speech recognition models may not be able to detect it correctly, such as if your name is spelled very differently from the common ones or you have special acronyms that most people don't know. And in a lot of cases, you already have a transcript and an audio. You want to pair them together or if you're doing some animation dubbing. Last but not least, it is a community recommended model. And thank you for each and one of you who suggested this content and you know who you are. Today, I'll walk you through the complete setup process using Docker, which makes installation much simpler across different operating system. Okay, first step, we're gonna install Docker. And don't worry if you have never used it before, you just have to understand one thing, which is it creates a container environment for us, so it won't interfere with our other projects. And most convenient part is we don't need to install a whole bunch of dependencies, packages before we can run a program. So you just go to docker.com and download Docker desktop. Click here and just select your operating system. I have a Mac, so I can just choose this one. And the whole process is pretty straightforward. Since I already downloaded it, I am not going to share the exact path here. And once you have installed Docker, open your terminal and just do docker dash dash version to confirm whether it's downloaded properly. Okay, we're great to go. Now, second step, we have to create a project folder so I'm just going to use my desktop folder. You can choose where is most convenient for you. So look, first we have to create a folder. I'm calling it MFA data, all right? And within this folder, we also need to create an empty folder called output. This is really important, all lower cases. Next, we will need to drag in our test files, which is one audio file in a WAV format. This is really important. It can only process .wav audio. And if your audio file is in some other formats, please convert that into a .wav format first. And second, a text transcript. Remember, we're trying to do a forced alignment, not just generating text from speech, right? So we will have a transcript ready in TXT format. And this has to be a plain TXT format with just the language matching your audio. All right, so in this case, I recorded a intro of my YouTube channel. It's less than one minute long, and I'll show you the TXT file, okay? So this is a really simple TXT file. You don't need to break them into different paragraphs. It's Right now, just one paragraph for my intro, and then it has the right punctuations and capitalizations, all right? And my audio file is only just 1.3 megabytes here for easy demonstration. And in real case, since we're running this thing locally, you can attempt to process a very large file. All right, let's go back to our terminal. Now, whenever we use Docker, it's important we pull an image. It's like a recipe to boot something. And this is a brilliant part. Someone else has already done the work. You can just pull that image and make it work for you. So in order for us to use the MFA model, now there's actually a pretty good website we can refer to. And if you want to learn more about how to use this in different settings and how to set it up, you can refer to this website. Of course, today I have read the documents for you so you don't have to but it's important to point you to the source. And this is the website. And this is where I learned how to here. They have a Docker installation instructions here. It tells you run Docker image pull and this link. All right. And let's just do exactly like that right here and then run. I don't know, we'd like to access data from other apps allow. Okay. So it's, you see, it's happening really fast for me because I have previously downloaded the model 
if it's the first time pulling the image, it's going to download some stuff. And it's going to take some time, but it only happens in the first time. And later on, it will be really quick. OK. And next, we're going to have to download two other things. And don't worry, these are the only two other things you have to download before the magic happens. And in order for the MFA tool to work, we need to give it two things. One is an acoustic library, and the other is a dictionary. And then you have to choose whatever language you are processing. And in my case, English US style. So then we're going to the acoustic model. First, we're trying to download the acoustic models. And don't worry, I will include all the links I refer to in this video down in the description section below. If you're interested in what I have to offer in the future about different AI tools or practical applications, I'd really appreciate if you subscribe, like, and share the video to anybody who might benefit from it. All right. So under section navigation, there are many different kinds of languages. So in my case, I'm downloading the English MFA model. You can use command line to download these models. But sometimes it can break due to that the directories of these models can change before the command line tool is updated. So in this case, I'm actually recommending not using the command line to download the models. All right. So on this page, if you scroll down and there's installation, under installation, download from the release page. And this is going to take us to the GitHub repo. In the GitHub page, scroll all the way down under assets and click on English US ARP or whatever language models you choose, right? If I choose English MFA Acoustic Model 3.1.0, I follow the same method. I go find release page under installations. Okay. And then this is the GitHub repo. Scroll all the way down under assets, English MFA. All right. And we download the zip file. Really importantly, we do not need to unzip it. All right. I'll repeat that. Do not unzip the file. And this should be in your download folder. OK, next, we're going to download the dictionary. OK, once again, this is the MFA website. And under dictionaries, select the one that meets your need. So here I'm downloading the US English MFA dictionary v3.1.0. Again, similar method. Scroll down under installation, click on release page, and go to the GitHub repo, scroll all the way down under assets. And here we download the .dict file, OK? And the first one, and click on it. Again, you don't need to open it or do anything about it. You just have to download them. Now we have one zip file, which is the acoustic model, and second, the dictionary file, the .dict file, all right? And next step, we are going to move these two files into our project file, which is MFA data inside the desktop file. All right, just directly drag them here. All right, and we're very close to make this magic happen. And the very last step, we need to use this command, docker run, and then give it the path to our project folder, all right? And as well as image link in the last line, MFA align. In my case, okay, under here, the dictionary file, English US MFA.dict, as well as English MFA.zip, and output. OK, so before we run this command, make sure that we do have an empty folder called output, all lowercase created, so it's empty. And the output file will be stored inside this one. OK, let's run this one. All right, it says done. Everything took 27 seconds-ish. And then there is a warning here, which doesn't influence our production here. OK, now if everything is all right, we should see a .txt grid file inside the output folder. Let's check. It is here. Now we can open this text edit. This text grid file should look something like this. And now you're ready to use this for your speech analysis or align the audio and text file for an animated video.
And if you want the output to be in JSON format, check in the description below. Use the line instead to output a JSON format output. I hope you enjoyed today's video. See you next time.